Mmm. Mmm. Literally melting in my mouth. With rice and kimchi. What do you make when you invite over someone really special to you? Kaibichimi is one of those dishes for me. Plus, if you master kaibichim, you can say you finished adulting. So here you go. Soak dates and shiitake mushrooms and wash thoroughly. Remove stems. The best cut for this is thick short ribs like this, but I'm sure you can use other thick cuts. Make slits and soak in water to remove blood. Once water starts boiling, cook ribs for just 5 minutes. Thoroughly rinse the ribs in cold water twice. This process helps get rid of gamey smell and flavor. Place the ribs in a clean pot. Add soy sauce, sugar, water, rice wine, and black pepper. Add broth ingredients, radish, onion, green onion, sliced garlic, ginger, and dried chili pepper. Once it comes to boil, cook on low heat for 40 minutes with the lid closed. It really makes it more tender and delicious if you use cast iron pot like this because it works like a pressure cooker. Cut potatoes, carrots, and radish into big bite sizes. If you want to get fancy, you can trim the edges to make it rounder or you can cheat by using a peeler. Cut green onions for cooking and some for garnish. After 40 minutes, remove the broth ingredients, add dates and shiitake mushrooms, boil them medium heat with the lid open so the liquid would reduce to about half. After 30 minutes, add potatoes, carrots, radish, green onions, and minced garlic and boil on medium heat for another 30 minutes uncovered. Make sure to check the bottom once in a while so things are not burning. And finally, add muriyat in the last 2 minutes for that delicious shine. Garnish with chopped green onions. Now you're ready for your VIP like, guest. Literally falling off the bone. Mashkitji.